Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kaka Sungura YouTube channel. A great thank you for those who are supporting this platform. Today's mandamano did not meet the criteria or the hopes that were set by the campaign that was meant to popularize the nane nane mandamano. The target wasn't met because today's target, the Gen Z said they will come out in millions. They camp at the CBD. Thereafter, they gave William Ruto an alitimatum to resign. And if he doesn't, they march to status. That has not happened. But on the side of paralyzing the government businesses, the Gen Z's have succeeded. But the physical expectation of what Kenyans expected to happen was below average. Now, William Ruto had appointed 20 cabinet secretaries who were supposed to be vetted by the vetting committee at the National Assembly and thereby give a final report for the appointments. In Kenya, we know how politics plays. That uh, it's not easy for a nominated CS to be rejected by the vetting committee. And if he is rejected by the vetting committee, during the full house voting, the rejected by the committee is picked. Like the last time, there is one who was also rejected, a woman. But when the names came into the whole house, the voting favored her. This time round, the vetting committee rejected the nomination of Stella Langat. Some people have told me, Kaka, it's because she couldn't properly respond to the questions. But that's not the reason why. In William Ruto's government, even the likes of Ayachuma couldn't properly answer to questions during the last debate. Methe Kalinturi could not correctly respond to the questions. But what happened? They were all approved. Now, you can't tell me that Langati's response during questioning was to be a factor to deny her a chance to become a cabinet secretary. I don't think so. But then, close details are emerging. And those close details, I believe them as true. That Raila Odinga had produced um, four from ODM. And these were men and another woman. I think there were five. Eh? Kulikuwa na wikili for Paranya, Ali Hassan Joho, Opio Wandai, John Mbadi, and there is this other woman from uh, from uh, from Trukana where? So five. Now, details are coming out that Stella Soilangat was sacrificed at the last minute to give Raila one opportunity to produce a candidate. This is information I've received, and maybe it could be true. Word on the street have it. Word on the street have it. That we might expect a name from Nyamira County. I don't know, but if it happens to Nyamira, well and good. But that's word on the street that Raila could be planning 
to have a CS nominee from Yamira to replace the position of Stella Langat. Maybe during the vetting, the ODM affiliated committee members, the likes of Junette Mohammed. It's like they told Baba, Apa tuko na nafas. Mm, apa tuko na nafas. From the conduct. Now, get me clear, and I want to put this clear. Langat is a sacrifice to give Raila a chance to add a cabinet secretary. Let me give an overview. The Gusi region who have ODM diehards have been complaining. Because from Kisi, there's nobody who was awarded those slots. Migosi comes from ODM, from a UDA. Now Raila Odinga, according to the information, didn't consider the Abagushi who been in ODM for decades. We have the ODM National Treasurer from Yamira, Timothy Bosire. Kisi has an ODM governor, a diehard governor, Simbarati. Now, I heard that they were suggesting Aradi to be given the position of the deputy party leader. Because as we speak, the majority leader has already gone. The, the, the minority leader has already gone to Junet Mohammed. And uh, the, 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 the minority whip has been given to Mili Odiambo. So people were asking, Luo Nyanza has produced two cabinet secretaries. That is John Mbadi and Opio Wandai. It has produced the minority leader in the National Assembly. It has also produced the minority the minority whip. Now, what is the Gusi region receiving? That has been the conversation. So maybe this pushed Raila Odinga to an extent of pushing for one space so that he can award Nyamira that position. But then, let's wait and see um, what is going to happen. But previously, when a nominee has been rejected by the committee, it gets approved during the voting. But this time around, this one did not happen. The committee rejected her. And the whole house voted against her. So she lost. Now, to add on this video, the police are surrounding the home of uh, Tycoon Jimmy Wanjigi. The details are not yet known. But later on, we shall know the reason why. Keep subscribing and keep watching our content. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell because once you turn on the notification bell, YouTube um, automatically notifies you that Kaka Sungura has put an update. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.